Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter and in this video we're going to go over some of the ZBrush for iPad news or maybe we'll call it gossip because I haven't been able to verify this but here on Reddit I found this post with this image of supposed uh, new pricing for ZBrush and that includes here ZBrush for iPad so really it's saying that there's going to be an increase for Max on One, which is the one that includes Cinema 4D, Redfish, Redshift, uh, ZBrush, and ZBrush for iPad. And apparently that's going from $11.99 USD to $12.65. But down here we see that the ZBrush license is going to be increased from $3.59 a year to $3.99 a year. And that's going to include ZBrush for iPad. And the previous monthly price is going to go from 39 USD to 49 USD. Now I've got no idea if this is true or not. Um, but, but if it is, I'm really interested in if there's going to be a ZBrush for iPad only pricing. And really I'm still really curious about what ZBrush on iPad is actually going to entail. Because really I found something interesting when I was uh, perusing Maxon page which is on this ZBrush for iPad sort of landing page if you go right down to the FAQ um, and the first one is ZBrush for iPad being completely redesigned ZBrush for iPad is undergoing a complete redesign meticulously crafted from the ground up to optimize every feature for an unparalleled sculpting experience on the iPad now, I don't know if they mean that they're optimizing every feature that they're redesigning or they are including every feature in uh, the new uh, ZBrush for iPad because really, if they're including every feature, that's a game changer um, for, for the ZBrush for iPad because um, that means it would be highly competitive compared to the other 3D offerings that are on the iPad at present. Now Nomad Sculpt is amazing and it's probably the most mature of the three. Um, but we've also got Uniform now, which is uh, another app which is um, quite complicated, but I feel like it's it's there's something to it. And, and with Uniform, it's going to be, I feel like, there's some sort of genius in there and it might be a little bit hard to get the hang of but now that I've started fooling around with it a bit I've realized that it is actually a really powerful software it's still got some time to bake in the oven I think but um, it could be a, a big competitor to ZBrush for iPad especially if it's as customizable as I, as I think it's going to be um, and then there's Valence 3D for poly modeling which also needs time in the oven but there's obviously th there's, there's more 3D art apps um, that are going to be on the iPad and there is going to be a little bit of competition so I'm really curious about this um, every feature situation now I know this is just a very short video I just thought I'd point out a couple of things I sincerely hope that this pricing isn't real um, and I also sincerely hope that there is a iPad only pricing because I haven't I've cancelled my ZBrush subscription ages ago because to be honest um i only really for most of my sculpting nomad and blender is more than enough and i'd only really need zbrush for more intermittent things and at the moment i can't see a reason to use it and i, I really feel like maxon has got rid of the hobbyists and i think that is to their detriment because i think in the long run you know hobbyists eventually many of them become professionals and if they start using something like 3d coat instead of zbrush they're going to go into their job using 3d coat and then the employer is going to think well most of us don't need anything except for 3d coat and maxon's going to lose out on a license uh, fee or whatever so i really feel like that they should really you know have a, a an indie license or something something that's a little bit more affordable and um, then a professional license for companies to, to pay for to use but you know that's just my opinion what do I know I'm not a hyper greedy uh, corporation so um, you know who knows that's that's just the way they do it but I'm gonna do another video covering the other options 
um, that are on iPad and because I think that the iPad's becoming really really interesting for um, 3D modeling now and I, yeah I really hope that um, I don't know the competition breeds some level of sort of you know an explosion of great uh, competition and apps but look I'll leave it at that one and I'll see you all in the next one. Tschüss!